Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. This time, let me check my audio, right? Because when I did Monster Prom, I completely fucked up. And my goddamn... The game audio that was being captured was not the game audio. It was the fucking desktop audio. That's why it was super loud. I gotta put something... I gotta put something in the goddamn chat rules. That's just like, hey, here's a rule. If, if the audios are fucked up, tell me about it. <laughs> God damn it. Jesus. Alright. I'm like super paranoid. There's like a million things I gotta check. Make sure things aren't muted. Make sure his fucking audio is fine. I think I'm... I think I'll lower the audio a bit. It shouldn't be too bad, right? Lower it by... By that much. By like one decimal. A whole decimal. It's crazy. Make sure nothing else is... It's fucking up. I'm super paranoid now. Alright. Fix my microphone up. Make sure I'm in a comfortable seating position. And we're back with more folklore. Yay. Guess what? I didn't stream last night. Because I felt like shit. <laughs> what else is new? I always feel like shit. Alright, I don't even fucking remember what I was doing. We took, took a bit of a detour here in our plans, right? We played, um... We did Monster Prom, right? That was fun. I gotta go back and do more of that. And then, uh, what was it? Like, the other day, played a little bit of, um... Genshin Impact. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's an alright game. It's not bad. I liked it. I'll probably go back and play it. Not sure if I'll stream it, but I'll go back and play it. So, we're back with more folklore, right? I believe last time we defeated the third boss for Ellen. And then we worked our way up here. I believe I got my ass kicked a couple of times by like some elephant or something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's kind of... It's not difficult to remember, but, you know, it's been a while. Is this where I got my ass kicked? Yeah, this is definitely where I got my ass handed to me. Alright, um, where was I headed? What did I do? Okay, I guess I'll take a left this time. Not a left, a right this time. Completely forgot what their weaknesses are. I can always consult the book if I ever needed to. But, you know, you know, I'm just not going to do that. Alright, so I'm heading this way, right? I haven't played this game. How long has it been? What, four days? I think four days. And I feel like I know nothing about this game anymore. Are these new guys? I don't remember these guys. What the fuck are these? They're like camels. They're like ice camels. Does my book say anything about them? No. Gotta hit the little dog things with the... How do I... Okay, that's the first page. Never mind. Yeah, that's all I got in this book. God damn it. Okay. Well. Um. Let's get my damage up. Not damage up. My defense up. Shit. How do I dodge again? There we go. That's the dodge button. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay. Wow. That was, um, not smart. Jesus, these fucking ice motherfuckers are just kicking my ass. 
This whole entire area of the game is just beating the shit out of me. Alright, let's see. That's obviously not working. Uh, what do you guys do again? These guys do ice spikes. Maybe I can get these guys to come back and help me out. Hawks is the one that just does a straight up shot, right? Combo attack? No. Long range, non elemental attack. Let's go with that. Just shoot him with a gun. Solve my problems. The American way. God, you guys are just fucking me up. Alright, there we go. You're next. And we're done. So that was easier than I needed to be. Did I? Oh, fuck. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> that was easier than what I made it. That's what I meant to say. Alright, let's see. What did I get here? Artillery. So use the big cannon guy and the fire dude. What is this? For the boss? Alright. That fucking tank better put in some goddamn work, all the god all the goddamn struggles I had to go through to get that thing. Wait, is this the boss room? Don't tell me this is just straight up the boss room. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Was this the thing they wanted me to use the fucking cannon on? It looks like it. So, shoot it out the sky and then hit it with fire. Alright. Where the fuck is my cannon? Here we go. Um... I'll set that to circle. And then hit it with fire, which should be over here? Yeah, this guy. Alright, well... Put my... put my defense up. Right? Can I aim at the damn thing? Alright, there we go. Shit. Oh, come on. Come on now. Don't run away from me. There you go. Take the cannon. There we go. And then I set it on fire. I'm just burning this thing alive. I feel bad for it. Now I feel bad for me because I'm about to die. Oh shit. That still technically hits. The little explosion, that's nice. Come on, buddy. Just fall down. No need to make it more difficult than it needs to be. Come on, I'm missing. There we go. I'm gonna back up. I feel like it's gonna hit me at any, at any point. I just ran straight into the fucking into the ice ice spike. That was great. This fight is killing the fucking frame rate. That's what it's doing. All right, there we go. Third time's the charm, please. It will help out tremendously. 
I'm gonna back up now. I feel like it's gonna hit me. No? Get a little bit more hits. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, come on. I did that at the right time. How dare you. How dare you insinuate that I fucked that up. Oh, come on. What is with my goddamn timing? There we go. And thus I have defeated the dragon. And saved the day. And got some health back. That was much needed. So what the fuck does the dragon do? Besides rock the dragon. Long range ice element attack. Charge for an area attack on impact with ice blocks. What? Just said a bunch of words that I have no idea what the fuck. So, if I don't charge, it just does a uh, regular shot. Okay. But if I do charge, it does area of effect. What? I'm confused. Charge for an area attack on impact. Oh, okay. Wait, on impact with ice blocks. So, if there's like an ice block in front of me. Right, hold up. I wonder, could I like... Is it possible? That I can like throw an ice spike, right? And then... Oh, it went way too fast. Alright. So, I'm assuming whenever there's ice in front of me, if I charge it up, it'll be a fucking area of, area of effect attack. So... That's cool, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? I need like a fucking save point or something. Oh, hey! What's your name? Belgay. I believe that's how I pronounce it. <clears throat> Unfortunate, really. Everything in the world is fated to crumble. Wait, what? Everything in the world is fated to crumble to nothing. So, so is another world. I'm having a hard time reading. Uh, thoughts disappear from human minds, and so the afterlife is slowly forgotten. Can modern man create only a world like Warcadia? If so, then be it. The netherworld is here for the benefit of the living. A bit different from how the fairies think. I suppose things don't always go as planned, both here and in the netherworld. The, nether, the netherworld core, I can't wait to find out what kind of a place it is. The folklore lives in the forgotten palace that lies beyond. Please be very careful. Okay. Is there a save point? There it is. Look at that beautiful save point. I can smell it. I can taste it. It's fucking delicious. I need it in my bloodstream. <laughs> Treat it like it's a fucking drug. Cause it is. <coughs> Alright. Wow. What the hell was that? <clears throat> wow, my voice is just slowly going every fucking time. <clears throat> I gotta get a drink of water. Hold up. Hold up. It only happens when I goddamn... My voice only gets like this when I live stream. I don't know why. I'm not nervous or anything. I promise. It's not me. Oh, all right. I'll tell you. Tell me what? Lord of the Undersea City? Br Brajanta? Br Brajanta. Wow, that was a terrible... That was a terrible... That was a terrible try at that, at that fucking name. All right. Brigantia. I believe that's how it's pronounced, right? Uh, lies ahead. It's a fearsome beast. That name is fucking fearsome itself. When the Undersea City was in its prime, they captured it by freezing the water around it. You may be able to get to it from behind. Of course, you'll have to freeze the area. Assistance by folks. Alright, it has ran amok once before. The folks of the fairy realm helped us then. So, folks from the fairy realm are probably the way to go. Okay, cool. 
What about you guys? You got anything interesting to say? Here you will find the third folklore. Its existence is key to opening the seal of Barbell. Bar Barbaral. Barrel. I don't fucking know how to say that. Forts in the road and netherworld always represent big decisions. Like, shall I go traditional or shall I go anal? Who knows? <laughs> that was a that was a shitty joke. I feel bad for even doing it. Alright, so folks of the fairy realm. Hmm. But I have to freeze the fucking the stuff around it. Eh. We'll figure it out. Right? I'm pretty sure if I fucking explored more. Let me see the map actually. Eh. No, yeah, they both kinda lead the same way. Maybe like one area probably has like a uh, a page in the book for me to help me out, but but you know, fuck it. Who cares? Let me um switch up to you. Wait, can I just shoot these guys? Nope, doesn't seem so. But I can shoot you for fucking sure. Oh, come on, hit the fucking, hit the little guy. Trying to absorb his soul. Gotcha. You're next. Got you. You, I'm gonna stay as far away from you as possible. There we go. You ain't shit when I got a gun. <laughs> oh, this does not bode well for me. Okay, um, let's see what would help me out the most here. I mean, where's the, uh, where's my spear guy at? He would be over here, right? Yeah, here he is. He's been helping out a lot. Gotta deal with you two. And you'll be done for. Uh oh. Good job, me. Aren't I amazing? I know I am. Is this a branching path up here or no? No, it doesn't seem so. Is there health in here? Or, better yet, information. I'll take that. Okay, use the camel to block some bullshit tentacle thing, and then cut it with the fucking, with the, with the tiger. And then freeze it with the dragon, and then shoot it with a tank. That's a lot of work. That's water element, but I'm just hoping. Okay, so ice can affect it too. Thanks for the health. I'll take that. Okay, so what I need in this fight, right, is I need, um, I need you, I have that, I need, from the fairy realm, I need you, and then I need the artillery, which is from Warcadia. Gotcha. All right. Doesn't seem too difficult. Famous last words. Let's see how royally I can fuck this up. It's literally the same guy. Oh my god. I- oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, God. 
So I do that. Right. And I hit its tail. Come here. Damn it. Now it's gonna do some bullshit. Where's it coming from? You know what? I'm going to, uh... I'm going to set... You. I should be fine here if I don't move, right? Yeah, that was alright. It wasn't too bad. Oh, that was close. Alright. So, second time it comes through there. What about the last time? Alright. So then I should be able to get up all of your shit. Gotta hit the right one. Oh, come on. Well, at least it's easier to do than Ellen's, right? Ellen's was kind of fucking hard. Because you have to, like, aim it very specifically. And this part, I'm just sucking at it. Oh, come on, come here. No, 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 no. You going for another circle? There we go. Don't, don't go away. Damn it. Alright. Well, it seems safe over here for the most part. He's gonna go from over there. Okay. Where's the next one at? Wish the camera moved a little bit faster so I know where the fuck. Alright. It's coming from over here. Okay, then he should be good. that. Uh-oh. He's killing my frame rate. One more hit should do it. If I can fucking get it. Come on, get closer. There you go. I'm having a way easier time than the shit I had to deal with with Ellen. Hers was pretty fucking terrible. Oh, come on, don't leave. Shit. Alright, well. Put that up. Get my defense. I felt like it dropped the health pickup. Oh, shit. Man, that middle skewed the damage a lot, actually. You can stand right here, I feel safe. Okay, and then he usually comes from here. Alright. Not too bad so far. Waiting for the moment where it all goes to shit. Like right now. going to switch up to huh what am I gonna switch up to I think I'm gonna go to this guy he helped me out last time switch him out for the uh, the dragon okay well that wasn't bad So far, I don't even have to use the other guys. He is not putting up that much of a fight. Get 
out of here before I get fucked up like that. Okay, so that's not working no more, it seems. So I think now I switch out with the dragon and the artillery. Okay, alright. Just not expect him to cover that fast. Come on, come back. Wow, that was really easy compared to Ellen's bullshit. So, keep it in the middle. Come on, come on, come on. This is... It's harder than it looks. Oh, this one is easier, though. Just beat the shit out of its soul. B-rate it to death. Till it's ugly. Call his mom a bitch. And his dad a hoe. Wow, that was super easy compared to Ellen's. Ellen's was a fucking, like, it was a whole entire struggle. That one was not bad. That one was actually fun. Good job, Keats, you did it. Oh, hey, look, it's Harvey. A change of heart? Yes, I'm not going to the swamp. I see. Wait. I just didn't want I just didn't want the doctor to suffer, but things are settled now. Didn't I When I was playing as Ellen, didn't I see didn't wasn't Harvey at the swamp or did I talk to the doctor? I don't remember. Alright. But things are settled now. Yes, and all for the better. Why should you care? I sent Ellen instead. Hmm? What happened between you and the doctor? Nothing. He was killed. There must be a reason. Dr. Lester wasn't scared of my condition. He stayed with me until the end. Nothing more. What condition? Keats, I have a favor to ask. Dr. Lester wrote a will. Make sure Mrs. Lester do not see it. Do not see it. Why, why did I say it like that? Does not see it. Why not tell Ellen? I don't wish to involve her f further. Please, if anything happens to Ellen, you must help her. Um... What? Wait, so... Didn't I run into- Didn't I run into Harvey when I was playing as Ellen? My memory's probably fucked. I probably ran into the doctor. I downed the folklore. That makes three now. So, you want to go to the Netherworld's core? Ellen chased after the boy as I expected. I asked her about the back... Wow, can't speak. I asked her about it back in the real world. That's why I want to keep on searching, but it seems I was on the wrong track. From here on, you need to watch yourself. Bitch, you need to watch yourself. How dare you? Why me? I don't have anything to do with you. That's not it. He's probably upset because he isn't able to manipulate you like he can his subjects. Who, the fucking fairy lord? Yeah, the fairy lord is wary of humans other than Ellen reaching the netherworld core. But I'm a mischievous sort, and when I hear things like that, I get interested. True. Time to get that delicious save point. So I don't have to do that bullshit over again.
I'm gonna end this game with like fucking 50 saves. Alright. So back to Dooland. Turn to Dooland Village? Yes, of course. Okay, the church. Can I get in? I don't know. Can you? That's probably like the worst thing back in those school days when you're like, uh, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? They go, I don't know, can you? And then I go, I don't know, can you like kick rocks? <laughs> Fucking jackass teachers. Okay, so I'm heading to the church, right? Which is, I forgot the direction. I think it's towards this over here? Towards this over here. Yes, because that's how English do good. I believe this is towards the church. All right. Was it the back of the church? Or is it, like, inside the church? I guess it's inside the church. Alright. But I don't have, like, key or anything, and it's locked. The door is unlocked. Oh, shit. It looks like someone was just here. I wonder who. Hmm. Hello? Any, uh... Any spookies hanging around? No? Okay. Just making sure. What the fuck am I looking for? There's a room over here. Indeed, the doctor really did have a will. He can. He can. Oh, wow. He can. Oh, fuck. I can't even read. He considered suicide. But was soon killed. Dear Teresa, 17 years ago I set off a chain of events that caused much misery. I am certain that the latest deaths are related. I cannot bear the weight and I will take my own life. I am sorry for the pain I have caused you. Thank you for not once a salad. Well, what? I don't even know that word. With all my love, Roger. My man's first name was Roger. He caused the deaths of all those in the village. That's crazy. How dare he? But how? Medical mishap? Or something else entirely? And who killed him? Man, whoever's playing that violin was doing a sick-ass solo. Save your game? Sure, why not? I just saved it two seconds ago, but why not? You know what's gonna happen with these older games. Glitch the fuck out. It can blow up. My PS3 can blow up right now. Alright. So that was key. What was that? Chapter 4? Well, let's head back to Ellen. The hard mode of this fucking playthrough. God damn it. A second. Wow. <laughs> Like a hiccup just stopped me right there, mid-sentence. A second murder has occurred in Ellen's world. A standoff with Keats at the bottom of the sea makes the story only more convoluted. Chapter 4. Darkness. Ansem, is that you? Mother, a letter. Why? But I'm alive. What's this letter for? All right, brainstorm time. So I'm pretty sure it seems pretty obvious at this point. Ellen's the little girl, right? She's a little girl grown up. 
and she has like this fucking weird power shit. Fucking is she like plot twist? She's like a half live, right? Both half dead and alive at the same time. She's a ghost. I'm, I'm calling it. She's a ghost. What was that? I must have had a dream of some sort. I feel like the secrets to uh, to my past is just within reach. It's like that episode in fucking um, what you call it? It's like the episode of Supernatural, you know, where like the twins they go and fucking they head to like one of the woods. They see a girl and she's being hunted down by a ghost, and they do all the work. They purge the ghost hunting her down, but at the end, it's all like he was only there because she was there because she was dead the whole time and didn't know it because she forgot about her past. Right? Some bullshit. I feel like the secrets to my past was just in reach. I must find out more about Cecilia. Harriet, I wonder if she'll be able to tell me anything now. Well, let's go check. Me? Dead? No, I can't be. <laughs> Impossible. Sometime ghosts hang on to the living world. Where the fuck am I going? I'm in the Harriet's house, right? And she's just in her wheelchair, dead. Please don't be dead. <laughs> okay, cool. You're not dead yet. Could you tell me about Cecilia? Cecilia made a fairy prayer. Legend has it that whoever prayers at the hinge for nine days will have their wish granted. That girl was special. She could see fairies. And you tried to ask Cecilia about something. Yes, I tried to find out what she saw beneath the hinge. What did you think it was what did you think was there? Fairies that granted wishes. Do you believe in them? There's nothing of the sort beneath the hinge. Lion ass. Who would be so naive to think that fairies have nothing better to do than grant wishes? You're quite right. I do not believe in such things. Not anymore, at least. But, at the last time, I felt differently. At the last time. I added the word last in there. Why did I do that? I was an actress when I was younger, until the incident. I had to give up my dream, but I could not forget the excitement of my former life. And this is about Cecilia. She suffered a serious injury beneath the hinge. She was brought to Dr. Lester. The injury should have taken her life, but Cecilia survived. Why did Cecilia suffer that injury? And why did Harvey die? Eventually, I will answer these questions. Why don't you answer them now? What's the problem? But please wait a little longer. I'll tell Keats, the magazine writer. It takes an outsider to tie this story together sensibly. Well, what on earth is wrong with telling me? Yeah, what is wrong with telling me? Well, you're not an outsider. You ought to know that. Yeah, so I'm the little girl. If you tell me, I guess it'll trigger memories and then I'll unleash the fucking hellscape upon the world. No more tragedies will occur at the hinge. Like they did to me, you, and the O'Connell who came to the village recently. And the O'Connell, that O'Connell. Was he affected as well? Why don't you ask him yourself? Why can't you just say yes? What's the problem? I could tell you, but I won't. Over here pulling a destiny. That's Lester's home. Where the fuck is uh, O'Connell? Over here? No, that's, that's boarded up. Over here? Here we go. Alright. Oh, it's you. Okay. What do you need? I have things to do. Yeah, like staring at paint dry. Are you also searching for something at the hinge? And so do what if I am. Alright, you're that woman everyone's talking about. Everybody's talking about me? You guys are fucking rude. But what do you know? Are you going to help me find what I'm looking for? Do you know anything about the hinge? Other than the useless fairy... Uh, fairy. Other than the useless village folklore mystifying it? 
on the day of the Samhid, Samhin, uh, Sam, ah, God, I still don't know how to say that. I had a strange experience beneath the hinge. Beneath the hinge? You went under that thing? I heard that the entrance opens only on the night of the Samhin. I'm looking for a fellow scholar who disappeared. Her name is Lucy. I loved her. You can say that I love Lucy. I called her Lulu for short, though. What? <laughs> for short? Her name is Lucy. It has four letters. But for short, I called her Lulu. That also has four letters. <laughs> what? Alright, whatever. She left it to explore the ruins and has not been seen for a week. She must be somewhere in the village. The car I lent her is still here. Was she also searching for fairies? That's right. She's doing research on the folk on the folk mythology. And that's why she went beneath the hinge. Wait, I know. Oh, she's dead? Was she the skeleton we saw in there? There may be a way that we can find out if she's still alive. Do you have anything that she left behind? She left this medallion. It was near the hinge, and... You acquired the brass medallion. Cool. Could you have looked at the? Wait, what? Could you have a look at this? Uh, there are documents left behind by Lulu. Huh. This shows a door. This crest forbids entry for all except the spiritual medium, and it says something about uh, about a uh, about sin, and and its toxins. Something about the albed, I don't know. Some crazy shit. This door was deep within the cloak chamber. Was Lulu trying to go beneath the hinge? I'm not sure if this will work. But if Lulu is no longer here in this world, I might be able to pick up on her voice. Perhaps Lulu used the medallion too. Head to the altar at night. Yeah, why not? I got nothing else better to do. Alright. Let's see. Use item. Brass medallion. Connell, I'm sorry. I was able to return your car. Oh yeah, she's super dead. O'Connell's car. I love this PS1 ass music that plays. It makes me feel nostalgic. It reminds me of like fucking uh even though it's not a PS1 game, but like Orphan on the PS2. It reminds me of that. It has like that type of soundtrack. She wouldn't have lost her life. Oh no, it's gonna take me to Hogwarts. This place is fucking nasty looking. It's covered in piss. Well, you have certainly come far. What is this place? This is the Endless Corridor. It represents the eternal anguish of those who have lost their belief in the afterlife. Incidentally, it was created by inhabitants of the modern world, people much like yourself. Once people investigate, wait, what? In invest, I'm not even gonna try anymore. Once people envisaged and envisaged, 
visage envisaged right i'm pretty sure that's how, how you pronounce that right because it because because vis, visage 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 is like to fucking it's to whatchamacallit it's like a picture a painting right or something like that so once people envisage I, i'm pretty sure that's pronounced that word a paradise that was in, uh, attainable after death this concept gave birth to the fairy realm and indeed to the creation of ourselves now, have a good look at this place. Is there anything even remotely reassuring about an afterlife that looks like this? For the sake of both the netherworld and the realm of the living, this twisted reality must be corrected. Where is the folklore? The Endless Corridor is Levain's territory. Only she would know. Levain? The woman I met in the Undersea City? That is correct. She is responsible for tainting the netherworld. You must fight Levain, and that man Keats as well. You should ready yourself. Aw, oh, damn it. Aw. Wait, am I really about to fight Keats? That will be pretty badass, not gonna lie. He'll probably whip my ass, though. Oh, look at this creepy shit. It's a little tan statue. Sprouting out and shit. What do you guys got to say? The fairies will never find this folklore of the endless hall, uh, endless corridor. For some reason, I want to say endless hallway. For decades, Levain and Belgi have traversed the netherworld with this as their home base. Over the last 5,000 years, countless messengers uh, coaxed by the fairy lord daunted the cloak and sacrificed their lives. Of course, people are free to ignore the warnings and follow the path of their foolish predecessors. Beyond this point is not just an old maze, but don't worry, someone knows a shortcut. The hint is the the hint is a clock. The keeper of time also knows the way out. The keeper of time? You mean like the eyeball motherfucker from Danny Phantom? I am the keeper of time. Danny, you must not cheat on your test, or you will fucking become super evil. Oh god. I don't know why I did that. What am I doing? I gotta switch up my, uh... These guys put in work, actually. So I'm just gonna have them. They do most of the shit. Uh... I'll keep the shield, I guess. Right? You guys are, like, super aggro. That was badass. I felt cool doing that. Basically shot that dude in the back. I feel bad for him. What are you doing over there? I don't trust this thing. It looks so out of place. Wasn't there like a Time Lord standing here or something? Could've sworn I saw a Time Wizard. Alright. Oh, that guy. He's running away. Get him. Oh, what the fuck? Get this thing. It looks super evil. Gabrea. Hmm. Or Gabara. How the fuck you pronounce that? Oh, I thought I got it. There we go. So, oh wait, shit, there's more here.
I'm just putting nothing but pressure on this guy. Oh shit. Alright. That was pretty easy. Good job, me. Now, what the hell? What did this guy do? Mid range, non elemental area of attack. Uh, don't. Downs enemy with spinning, downward slash attack. Release karma to improve. Okay. Mid range when element area attack creates multiple whirlwinds in area. Huh. Let's see what that's about. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a get the fuck off me move. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna equip you. Okay, um... Where am I headed? Oh. Oh, it's a maze. That's why I don't have a fucking map. Okay. This. Hopefully I don't get too lost in here. Uh... Huh. This does not, this does not look like it will help me. Alright, spawn these fucking creepy ass looking motherfuckers. Answerer. Okay. And what do these guys do? Short range slash element combo attack. For a wide area combo attack. Okay, hold up. Okay. That's not too bad. I need a uh, destroy element. You. Green liquid. Now I need water element. You. What did I just do? What just happened? Uh. Okay. Alright, well, um, that's not fucking creepy at all. Oh, come back here, you son of a bitch. You're an illusion. Guess I followed the clock and snuff out the illusions. the hell is that thing? Uh-oh. Alright. A Brolachon. Come on, Exorbit. There we go. I need you guys to back the fuck up. There's way too many of you. Oh god, there's so many of you. Oh. This is not... This is not fun.
get in my little minions of destruction. I believe in you. There's one more left. Where is he? Oh, what the hell is that thing? Okay, well that doesn't affect it. And it's not moving. That's creeping me the fuck out. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Short range non-elemental combo attack. Well, it seems like non-elemental doesn't help it, so let's try with Slash. Wait, was that Slash or Wind? Slash element, yeah. Okay, so Slash doesn't work. Let's try with the destruction. Alright, let's try with this one. That doesn't do it either. Okay. Hmm. Maybe like a specific folklore is supposed to fuck it up. That is interesting. Oh! Okay, well, let's just push you over here, buddy. Buddy old pal. I wanna. I want to move you over. Just move you towards the uh, explosion. Come on, you can do it. Eh. You can be a little bit closer. Come on. There we go. Huh. Maybe the tank will do it. Way to aim, tank. Good job. Well, I'm out of ideas. That's weird. You're weird. You're a freak. Get some health back over here. Oh, what's this? Page four. Let's take a look at that. Oh, shoot bubbles at like some flying book spider demon. Okay. All right, well. Make sure that guy's not moving around or anything like that. This, this seems like fun. Alright, let's switch to... To Gaboy. So what am I fighting now? Hmm. I have no idea what that does. So I'm just fighting you guys. All right, nothing, nothing crazy important here. Back in here, with I don't know what the hell this thing is, but I'm just gonna mosey on over somewhere else. Didn't I go this way? Yeah, I did go this way. 
This makes a dead end. Oh, wow. It closes me off, too. That's great. Oh, so that's what it does. Okay, hold up. Basically, you make a choice and either you fight or you find the way out. <coughs> okay, I get it now. That is interesting. Get them, destroy them, make them suffer. Alright, well that's not too bad. Well, shit. Where's the, uh, oh shit. It wasn't the water element, it was the uh, destruction element. There we go. And now I can get out. Let's try not to head the same way twice. Alright, so... I didn't go this way. Oh, shit. That is not fun. Alright. Which one is real? That one. Because he's just fucking outied. Alright, well. Let me at least kill these guys and get a little bit of... Oh, hey. It's a new enemy. I need to use you, I believe. Shit. I'm a, I'm a bino. Uh, God, I'm not even gonna pronounce his name. I got a flying book demon. I got the monster book from fucking Harry Potter. I'm trying to get the fucking book. There you go. Alright. That's cool. Oh, there's more books. I don't have time for this. This way. Alright. Look at that guy. You're not real. You lied to me. What? It's teleporting. You're full of shit. What the hell? Okay, so I have no idea where to go. Great. Now I gotta fight for my fucking life. So let's group all you guys up over here. Let's grab you. They are gonna fucking kill me. Oh, come on, you're facing the wrong way, Ellen. There's a bunch over here. Get them. Good job.
Good job, me. Way to clear them all out. All right. There's one dude over there. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I needed. Okay. So. One of the fakes went over there, it seems. I didn't see anything go through this doorway. And there's another pathway over here, so it's either one of these two. I'm gonna go through the middle. And I fucked up. That's great. Okay. Hey! Guessed it correctly on the first go. Nice. Now that the pathway is open, I guess I can check this out, right? Maybe there's like a book page in one of these. Nope. That's enemies, and the other two disappeared. Alright, cool. Gonna switch back over to... Who do I have on my... I had this... this thing. These little fucking army dudes are putting in a lot of work. I like them. They're my favorites. Oh fuck. You're not the real one. And the one that went through the, the middle passageway wasn't the real one, so... It's over here. Oh hey buddy! You're real. It's the fucking time wizard. If he grew up. Uh. Okay. I was confused for a moment. That really scared me. Opening up fucking Doom Dimension. Oh shit. Um. Oh shit, this is not. Oh, so it makes fakes. Cool. That's the real one, it seems. Alright, and then it makes more fakes. Oh, this is not. That's the real one. Got him. What? So that can still hurt me. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Shake the controller up and down when it's orange. Okay, when it stops moving. So basically, jerk it off to death. I don't like this. This is weird. There we go. All right. What does this give me? A whole lot of nothing. Not even like health or anything? Come on, guys. So... What do you do? Mid-range sleep element area of attack. Okay. Alright, just put the sleep wave on enemies. And upgrade it to increase its stuff. Alright, so I came from that way. So I guess I'm going this way? Oh wait, no. Both these ways are locked. Huh. So I guess I'm heading this way then, since I came from the other way. Oh. 
Well, this is lovely. It's a fucking magic door. Why here? Oh. Hey, sweetie, where'd you been? I think it's about time we exchanged numbers. Uh, maybe not quite yet. Well, I'll just tell you mine. It's 065. <laughs> Was a woman named Lulu here? What? Lulu? No, I can't seem to find anyone named Lulu, which means maybe she's still in your world. Is she alive? But I heard her voice. Perhaps she seeks help? Thanks for the tip. Hey, wait! Don't you want my number? I'm good, buddy. Alright. So, out of the... Out of the fucking... The, the the undead bar I go hey it's master splinter how you doing buddy no luck huh what on earth are you doing here for the ring I'm a half-life I can jump between worlds as freely as a bird in flight now Ellen just where do you think that Lulu is what is this place in the village that's no one dare what is the place in the village that no one dare goes what what do you mean? Beneath the hinge. But there wasn't anyone down there. There was a skeleton. There is a way to open the dolmen. But I don't think what it is... Wait, what? I don't... Fuck, I can't read. But I don't know what it is. Only Levain can tell you. Why Levain? Why, I wonder. I can't go back to the village until I know how, it, how to open it. I need to venture further and find Levain. Look how tiny he is. He's adorable. A little, little fucking top hat he got. Alright. Oh, hey. Use the room for, for visiting the dead as you please. It is for the living. Creatures of the Endless Corridor won't complain about its use. As it's different from the fairy realm. Okay. What the fairies call Levain's Rebellion occurs in ancient times, well, occurred in ancient times in the Netherworld Core. Levain went to the Netherworld Core and disabled the vital function. Then, Barbara the Evil Eye sealed off the Netherworld Core and the war with the fairies begun. The room this way contains a contraption, a folk. It's the key. Find the flying book, folk, and absorb it first. If you succeed, the next door will appear. Well, I have it already. Shouldn't there be like a fucking save point here or some bullshit? If I die, it's on your ass. Okay. Oh, shit. There's like walking bombs in here. That's great. Deal with those things. Okay. Oh, I thought that was my fault for some reason. Jesus. Shit. you for a quick moment. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, they didn't blow up. Oh. 
Oh, hold up. I thought he... I, I realized what he just said. Okay, so I thought he was saying, like, um... I thought he was saying, like, go get the flying book, and then you can progress. What he was saying was, I gotta absorb the fly flying book to progress. Okay. I get it now. Cool. Thanks. Still wish you would've given me a fucking save point beforehand, but that's okay. Actually, it's not okay. I need you guys to stay as fucking far away from me as possible. Oh, I switched to the wrong one. Yikes. Go. Okay. Oh, wow, I got a time limit to kill this damn thing. That's not cool. Um shit. Switch over to you. Do I have time limit to kill it, or do I just gotta make it out? What the fuck just happened? I guess... I guess I probably had to kill the time guy, huh? I wish he would have fucking warned me about that. Anything else you want to tell me, jackass? Yeah. This time, exhort the little devil last. Obliterate all the non book folk. What? Okay. So it changes every time. Going and coming back. The path taken, stone folk. Endless maze two. The room is uh this room might contains contraption. Cues are activated as before. Alright. Okay. Going and coming back. Take it slowly when you go, come back in a flash. If you get it wrong, start again from the beginning. Uh, pass through the second corridor, and the path leading deeper inside will open by itself. What? Sometimes the thing that appears hard is in fact quite brittle. In fact, it may split right in half. Listen, motherfucker, instead of talking in, like, riddles and shit, just tell me what to do, dickhead. Jesus. So this time, kill the book last. Oh shit, wow. Whoa. This, this is not, this is not, this is not helping me. <laughs> God, that's a fucking big hitbox. Fucker. All right, let's see what would actually maybe if I put it to sleep.
Oh. I killed it. Okay. And then now I just use this and capture the book. Or kill it. It said defeat, so... It didn't say absorb, it said defeat. So I'm gonna kill it. Alright, I did it. I killed it. Did I do it? Did I do it good? Oh, there's more. Alright, so... You, I want to deal with you first. Just get you out the way. God, that thing does so much fucking damage, it's ridiculous. Maybe if I use the, uh, whatchamacallit, these guys. Oh no, wow, that does nothing. Okay. Guess I'll switch back to, to you then. Shit! Alright, at least drop some health or something. Thank you, for fuck's sake. Come here, you book. Flying away from me. Alright. I'm gonna stick with my, uh, my long-range boys. this guy. Come on, absorb it. There you go. Oh, that's health, baby. I need that shit. go. So that's easier. Alright. Now switch back to the water guy. Use bubble beam. Get him. Ow. Come on. I didn't even get hit by the fucking electricity.
a book can take a lot of fucking bullets. There you go. It's dead now. Is it making me redo it? Or am I doing it? Am I doing it wrong? I might be doing it wrong. I might just have to exorb it, right? I thought I was doing it right, to be honest. There was no, like, sound effect or anything that's like, Listen, Jackass, you're doing it wrong. Maybe water can fuck it up. No. No, it can't. Alright, well. Switch back to you. Come on, big rock guy. I wish I fucking knew how to just end you in like two seconds, but I don't. Alright, so I'm gonna absorb it this time. Maybe I just have to absorb it. Come on. Oh, okay, there we go. I forgot that the door appears when you do it correctly. My bad. Alright. So, these guys... Those guys are done for. Well, that guy's done for. Now I just gotta figure out how to fucking get this guy. Oh. Maybe I can put it to sleep. No? Okay. Well then, maybe. This doesn't affect it, right? No? Hmm. What about... Um, shit. Eh, it was worth a try. What about you? No. Maybe fire? Do I have something with fire? Do I have anything with fire abilities? Well, here's electricity, so... Nope, electricity don't work. Oh! Okay! Did I just kill the book? Oh, I really hope I didn't kill the book. Okay, so electricity gets it going. Alright, um... Alright, well... That was interesting. So I gotta power the damn thing on with electricity. Okay. Let's switch back to, um, my, uh, soldiers, because they are going to help out, and 
I got electricity from this guy, so. Alright. A Humpty. That's what it's called. That's interesting. And what the hell does does uh, those guys do? Short range thunder element combo attack. Okay, that's cool. I hate that I gotta keep changing back to this motherfucker. There we go. Ooh, rank up. This uh, golem that just loves beating the shit out of me. Nope, doesn't seem to affect the golem in the slightest. fuck gets that golem. Mid-range combo attack. Then I have one that shoots ice. I want to see if I can charm it. Maybe I can charm it. Nope. That does not work. Could have sworn I had like a creature that shoots ice. Mid-range bond element. Eh, that might work. Oh, I don't have anything with ice for Ellen. That's interesting. Nope, bond element won't work on it, so... Alright, well, shit. Guess I'll just have to do it the, uh, the hard way. Is it falling off the cliff? Oh wait, no. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like a cliff. Ow! Fucking book, you piece of shit. Can the book get away before I kill it by accident? There you go. Did it drop health? Nope. Alright, cool. Now where the fuck did the book go? There it is. Alright. Before I didn't bother killing this guy, but you know, I'll try it. I 
I believe I can do it before like two minutes, right? All right, that's fake one. Oh shit. Wake up, Ellen, come on. Ow, you bitch slapped me. I think this is the right one over here. Let me switch up to... Um, whatchamacallit? Where is it? You. Okay. Uh-oh. Found the real one. I gotta do this in 40 seconds. Oh, that sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm doing this in 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah, nope, forget it. Forget it, forget it. How do I stop it? How do I cancel it? I can't cancel it. Oh no. I fucked this up royally. There's no way to fucking cancel it. That sucks. Yeah, I fucked this one up. Was the time limit just for it to, like, not disappear? I thought I would, like, fuck up the whole trial. Nothing seems to have happened. This sucks. <laughs> this is the worst. I don't even know why I tried again. takes longer than the goddamn, uh, than the timing one. Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. Oh yeah, this is just garbage. Who playtested this and said this was a good idea? Yeah, alright, fuck that. I'm out of here, buddy. You can just... Which way did I come from? Which, am I... which way am I going? Uh, it doesn't matter which way I go, I guess, huh? Well... Huh. I'm going this way. I don't know what the hell that was about. There's no save point now, for some reason. So what, do I gotta do a different trial now? Uh, are you... Are you in need of knowledge? Uh, Endless Maze 1. Oh, do I gotta do it all over because I just ran out of time? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I gotta do it all over. Oh yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> that's why they had that save point there. Return to title screen. Definitely. That was terrible. Oh god. <laughs> 
Load that shit back up. So if you do run out of time, you do fuck it up. So just don't fight the guy. Just just go. Don't fight the guy. Or just kill it. That's fucking terrible. That was garbage. Now I gotta do the whole second trial all over again. Ugh. Yep. But at least I know what I'm doing now. Shit. You out of my way. Ouch. I was trying to dodge it, but I guess I'll get rid of this guy first. If he's gonna be a pain in my ass. Alright, there we go. And now I'm just dealing with you. I wish I knew the fucking fast way to deal with these guys, though. It wouldn't be as bad if I did know. There you go. You're dead. Drop health? Nope. Alright. Now book. Alright. Great. Pathway's open. I totally fucking forgot about these guys. Let me switch, uh... Switch back to... Where the fuck is it? Isn't it this one? Here it is. The hobbly. Go. Exorb you. Activate you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I killed it. Jesus, my bad. I didn't mean to murder the damn thing. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not trying to hit the book. There we go. Come on over here, buddy. Don't shoot the book. Don't shoot the book. Absorbed. And now it's in the fairy realm. There we go. Come here, book. Don't fly away from me. You cannot escape your fate. You must die by my hands. Gotta deal with you two and the rock guy and the book and we're all good. God, don't kill me. It's the last thing that I need right now. Um, 
come on. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's two. All right. And then you're left. The most pain in the ass creature ever. That's why. It's not the most pain in the ass creature ever, but still. It is not fun to deal with. Uh-oh. Shit. Got him. He is now dead. And you, my friend, you are next. There we go. And we're out of here. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> A giant ass square appeared. Hi, Time Wizard. How you doing? Bye, Time Wizard. I don't care. Please don't tell me I fucked it up. Do I have to kill the time wizard? Do I have to kill it? Oh god, are you kidding me? A puzzle with parts one and two, are you up for it? Did I fuck it up? God, I hate this. <laughs> Do I gotta fucking kill the Time Lord thing? Let me see this shit. I'm looking it up. to look for that shit. Sure, let's see what IGN has to say. Maybe for once their opinion can actually help someone. <laughs> That's right, I went there. Uh, let's see. Chapter 4. There's no, like, fucking way for me to instantly jump to it, but... So I gotta scroll all the fuck the way down. I should've just checked on game facts, shouldn't I? Forgotten Palace, blah blah, chapter 4, here we go. Um... He's talking about a side quest. If you don't defeat him within two minutes, exit the room and re-enter to fight him again. What? Wait, am I looking at the fucking right... right shit here? Okay. He will give you a brass medallion belong to Lulu. Go north, blah blah blah. Once in Duel Lens Pub, talk to the pub master, do the quest. No, I'm not doing the quest, you can go fuck yourself. Uh in this area, have folks to fight. 
All right, in this room, be careful because once you defeat folks, more will come. In this room, defeat the folks again. Look on your map. In this area, you will have to fight. Okay. Break the memory stones. Take the south path. This room. Use peg power to defeat the bullshit. Then exit the room and re-enter the room you will have to fight again. But this time, use Hanky to defeat him. After you defeat him, a door will appear. Enter the door. Wait, what? You'll have to fight. Okay. Once you defeat him, a memory stone will appear. Break it. Let's go to book five. This time you'll have 30 seconds to defeat him once you break him. I mean, what the fuck am I looking at here? Is this the quest? That's not the quest. What the fuck are they talking about here? <laughs> they're completely fucking... The way they're wording this is stupid. Oh, wow. This sucks. Okay. If you don't defeat him within two m minutes, exit the room and re-enter it and fight him again. supposed to take the eastern exit this is all some goofy ass shit I'm highly confused I also just picked up the wrong fucking controller <laughs> all right hold up well fuck these guys you guys are bullshitting me fuck do they mean exit the room and go in again? If you exit the room, wouldn't it just fucking loop over? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Alright. So take the eastern exit, apparently. So... It would be this one. Did I do it? Did I do it right? Hey, it's a save point. So the time limit for fighting those things, if, if I want a, a Cloak of Dawn, I think it's called, which I don't give a fuck at this point. Yep. Okay, well that was goofy. I just had to just fucking take a left. Not a left, a right. My bad. I've always had a uh, distaste for unwelcome visitors. The living need not know about the about the netherworld. They are free to do as they please with their realm of the corporeal. But they should never interfere in the matters of the netherworld, as we should never interfere in the matters of the real world. I've not come to fight. I want to know how to get beneath the hinge. I'm searching for someone and she might be down there. And what on earth makes you think that I will grant your request? Ellen, do not put faith in everything the fairies tell you. Who can predict what kind of world will provide humans with true happiness? However, the world changes. There are also those who benefit and those who suffer. 
Exploring your past is one thing, but more importantly, how will the knowledge of your past affect the way you live? This is a matter for you and you alone to face. Just who are you? I will tell you, but only after you escape the labyrinth of the Endless Corridor. Prove to me that you can dispel the internal agony of the maze inside your own consciousness. I know you are destined to f what? I know you are destined to fail, for your fears will immobilize you on your first step. Okay. That sounds fun. Ah, you've come, have you? I hope to avoid fighting here in this corridor. Uh, the bug thingy shudders when it eats a memory that frightens it. Waves pr uh, propagate in the vicinity, making passage difficult. The bug prevents people from advancing past that point. To expunge it, the person causing the obstruction must overcome his fears. Hmm. What do you wish to ask? Cloak of Dawn. Yeah, see, that's the one they wanted me to... Cloak of Dawn, Endless Corridors, Cloak of Dawn. Tick tock, tick tock, it flows like the sands, blah blah blah. Alright. Yeah, that's that's like going back in the room and fighting those... Those clock motherfuckers, but I'm not doing that. Kick rocks, weak point. All have our weak points, it's our secret, I'd rather we keep it ourselves. Even Mighty Folklore has an Achilles heel. Yeah. A palace, a place deep within. The area this way is our home base. One cannot easily pass through it. This place has a special link to the hinge in the village. The room of the living. The folklore in the endless corridor is a living uh, room called Flesh Room. Flesh Room is, th is tough, but do not despair. Startle him with the spurt of water in its eyes. Okay. What's that supposed to tell me? Um. Was I supposed to learn something from that? You have the spirit of a messenger, but you like the strength. It will destroy you. What you see there is your own fears. You claim that you wish to know your past, but in fact, you are too frightened to face it. Go back to the village and and know the depths of your fears, and never show your face in the other world again. Not underworld, netherworld. Alright, what the fuck was the point of that? Do I actually have to fucking head back to Doolin? I, I guess I'll head back to Doolin then. Is the cutscene gonna play? Oh shit, alright, cool. Ellen, where have you been? O'Connell. Something terrible has happened. Aw, oh, who died? Come to the church. Speak of the devil. We missed you. This time, Harriet was murdered. Yep, I expected it. While you were gone. Harriet, too? When will this stop? I'll tell you all the secrets someday, before I die. Blah. This pattern, I've seen it before. Through the door, then the horror follows. That's it. I went through that door long, long ago. Finally putting things together, Ellen. 
You, Ellen, are Cecilia. Yeah, I expected it. I'm a fairy child. Tingle, tingle, coolimpa. Your mother claimed that you were dead. Keats, you knew all this time. My past, it's all coming back. My life was overshadowed by obscure fear. But only now is that fear coming into focus. I must know my roots. Do I dare amass the horrors of my past? This decision is what I must say. Wait, this decision is yours. But I must say, it's only natural to seek the truth. You need time to think. Or speak to someone who knew young Cecilia. Who, Harvey? The doctor? Fucking everyone who's dead? <laughs> like... Okay. I, don't, I doubt O'Connell would know anything. He's like recent to the village, right? Oh, Mrs. Lester. She would know something. She'll probably be the next one to die, too. Miss Lester? Yes? That letter that claimed Cecilia had died. It was a fabrication. I am Cecilia. Oh, no. Devil child. Yes, I can see the resemblance. Now I remember. I once lived in Doolin. My name was Cecilia. Which means... This is a picture of you when you were young. Yes, I remember. There I am. Yes, that's me. You were a bright... Hide, little angel. Ellen, the entire village adored you. Just what happened to me that day 17 years ago? Well, the devil inhabited your body and went on a massacre. Started killing people, left and right. It was crazy. Oh, hey, Scarecrow. Where have you been? Scarecrow? Keats went on ahead. He defeated the folklore and ventured deeper inside. He's trying to disrupt the Fairy Lord's plans, should you let this happen. I'm not sure. I don't even know if the Fairy Lord is correct in his thinking. Ellen, they spend too much time pondering the complexities of things. Ellen, why do you dislike fighting? Why? Consider all, the, uh, consider all that's gone on in the village, enough to make anyone hate conflict. There's not a single thing to be gained from all this hatred. It only results in suffering. You're right, Ellen. Perhaps if, every, if everyone were like you, if they had the burden of torment, frightful past, then they'd probably stop all this fighting in the first place. Heavens no. I would never want anyone to have to go through the same things. You always were such a kind soul, dear Ellen. Well, Ellen, it appears that you have overcome your fears. The bug in the endless corridor has disappeared. But I have yet to remember any uh, everything. I have a feeling I might have missed something. Rather important, in fact. Well, Ellen, now that you went to the church, saw a dead body, and fucking uh, talked about your feelings, you overcame your fears. Just like that. It was easy. It was in your heart all along. I felt like there was no actual like struggle there. <laughs> She's like, oh, huh, I guess I am. I am Cecilia. Oh, what? My fears have been conquered already? Cool. Alright, back to the endless corridor. Use the portal. Alright. I'm gonna save it here.
Okay, now that I've faced my fears, time to venture on and fight a folklore, I guess? I don't fucking know. The bug is gone. The fear must have been purged. I'm amazed that such a terrible fear could have been overcome. It wasn't that bad, actually. An amazing fear. What, that I was a little girl in the past? Yeah. Scary shit, I know. She doesn't even fully remember her, her goddamn past. So it's kind of weird. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> Okay. So apparently I gotta shoot it in the eye with water. I don't have any book that helps me out here, so I'm assuming that assuming. I'm assuming that I have to fucking use this. And then I don't know actually. Maybe I'll cut it with this and shock it. I don't know. This is all I got. This is all I got. That's all I got. I shot it in the eye. Uh oh. Things are coming to hurt me. Okay, so that's up, right? That doesn't do anything. This does something. Oh, wow. Ew. Damn it. Can you guys move the fuck out of my way? Move, Ellen. Move. Shit. God, I'm trying to, like, dodge. Right? But she just won't do it. I guess I'm getting like stuck in the animation or something. You. You. Alright. Now shoot you in the face. Twice. Because that seems to do it. And then there's an eyeball over here. seems to be doing pretty good. What about this? Does this do anything? Nope. Alright, move that one. Oh, okay. It's not getting hit no more. That's interesting. Oh, what the hell? Shoot that in the face. As long as I stay away from those areas, I should be fine. Oh, what the fuck? Was that a fist? Let me, uh... Let me switch to this. So I know what to expect. Is there any more, uh... There's an eye over there. Alright. Come on, Fist. Do your worst. No? Okay. Oh, move, Ellen. Move! seems to be over with. Oh, what's going on here? Ow! 
All right. Note to self. That is not a good thing. Gotta do this shit. God, I hate this. Oh, thank you. This is way better. It's way easier. Sorry if I'm shaking the microphone. <laughs> I have to shake the controller. Just like that, the boss is beat. Uh, the boss is defeated. Wow, that wasn't too bad. That was fun. I like that. It's definitely weird. Ew, it's spewing toxic. Ew. It's like your regular modern day gamer. Huh. Am I back at the hinge? What? Why here? Probably the memory of my past. Ah, oh, fucking fairy lord. What is this place? This is its true form. She made the folklore into a watchdog for her hideout. What terrifying power. But now is the time to conquer this place and keep them on the defensive. I understand why we must aim for the Netherworld core. But why must we fight Levain? Listen, Ellen. They have put us through enough of uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> They have put us through a terrible ordeal. The fact that we can no longer move freely between the realms, and that the entrance to the endless corridor has been blocked by Baral, the evil eye. All of this is the work of Levain. Most of the messengers that were with us have lost their lives as a result. Ellen, it is also for your sake. Okay. You got anything to say, Fairy Lord? Or as I like to call him, Bootleg Ramu? This place was created by Levain herself. But how? Ellen, I imagine that you could do the same. For you, like Levain, are a messenger. So, then Levain... Yes, Levain once had the important responsibility of telling the dwellers of the reality of the Netherworld. So the ordinary men and women would be reassured about their fates after death. But then one day, she ab uh, she ab uh, fuck. She ab I can't speak. Abdic abdicate da she, she threw away the responsibility. There you go, English. And disabled one of the twin trees in the Netherworld Core, the tree that controls the human subconscious. The damage to the twin tree is what so, uh, what, is what has so affected the Netherworld? The twin trees, from a spiritual link between, uh, from form a spiritual link between the other world and people in the real world. Without the trees, the memories of men would not occur in the netherworld. Due to Levain's meddling, the link between reality and the netherworld has been severed. And now, the netherworld is a passive recip- uh, repis uh. Fuck, I know the word, I just can't say it. Recipitant. Recipitant? I think, that, I think that's how you say it, right? It's a replicant, that's what it is. Of the ripples of the real world. 
the mutual connection has been destroyed. We cannot allow this to uh, continue. Fuck. <laughs> what will happen to Levine? The courts will decide her fate, and she receives upon it. Uh, she ha she shall. Oh fuck! Said so. She shall. But she's sure. She shall receive a punishment. Uh, coming coming straight to the gravity of her sins. Now, Ellen, open the entrance to the hinge. Free us. Let us walk upon the real realm. These are sacred grounds, messengers like yourself. Show proof to your distinction, and the path shall open. Proof, the medallion. What? The color of the medallion has changed. It's almost like the medallion saying, No, don't do it. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. No, stop it. Don't. No, don't do it. Silver medallion. Bam. Okay, the hinge is open now. I just realized, I think I misread one of those words. I said distinction. I meant dedication, right? I completely fucked up. <laughs> Reading is difficult, guys. But guess what? I guarantee you that I read better than any of the fucking children that go to school now. Hey, Levain. What's up? Why are you being so evil? Girl, why are you so cray cray? Greetings, Ellen. Have you come of your own will? I hope so. The real world is not well in its present state. So that's why if you look to the old world, or should I say the old world as the fairy lord describes it to you. Levain, you too are a messenger, aren't you? We were the original natives of the earth, but we were destroyed by the humans who came after us. I am the final survivor of the race, the last messenger. Why have you done uh, why have you done what you've done to the netherworld or whatever fuck? Because there's so many people in the world just like you, Ellen. Happiness does not come from nowhere. You must seek it yourself. The human fear of death is the driving force behind human action. A limited time on earth is what makes mankind seek material and spiritual achievements. It is what makes life precious and dear. Ellen, you know little about the world outside a small boundary. Learn from others and look inside yourself. Then, and only then, will you be able to sort this out. My actions are not a mistake. So what? I, I'm guessing she's like saying if, um, if humans knew there was a world after death, they probably would just fuck up the real world or something tisk foolish fairies admit your defeat in hell realm your deeds will go uh, your deeds will go unforgiven for eternity we will break keys to the we will bring keys to the nether world and settle this once and for all we will never allow such meddling again I haven't the time to waste bickering with the likes of you. Damn, she ran away. Ellen, be patient. Our time has almost come. Our victory is imminent. Ellen, our hopes rest upon you. But I don't want a fairy lord. I don't like you. Listen, if they give me an option to go with the fairy lord or Levain, I'm going with Levain. Fairy Lord's been a dick this whole entire time. He's been sus. Mad suspect over there. Um. Where am I supposed to be going? Am I supposed to be going to O'Connell? Because I used the medallion. I still didn't find fucking Lulu. Or Lucy. Or whatever the fuck her name is.
Lulu could be beneath the hinge, and I discovered how to get in. What? So we can now search for Lulu? Yes, we shall go to the hinge at night. I couldn't find Lulu in the netherworld. Perhaps she is trapped inside. What could Lulu possibly have wanted from these ruins? As far as I can tell, she was as happy as could be. She had a stunning intelligence, good looks, no lack of friends. Why did she go away from me? She must be alive. Let's go, O'Connell. Guess I'll use the uh, silver medallion. I gotta reposition my seating because my fucking legs fall asleep. All right, come on, O'Connell, let's go. Let's get you trapped in the netherworld so you can never escape. Let's see the skeleton that was down here. Hey, O'Connell, look, I found your girlfriend. She is a skeleton now. This is where I donned the cloak. Hmm, someone has been here quite recently, in fact. What is this, an earring? But it was just a mummy in the cloak. Let me see that. My god, no. <laughs> This is her earring. It all makes sense. The mummy that you saw was Lulu. Yeah, I expected it. Huh? But she says she's been gone for only a week. You. You told me that she was alive. No, I told you she could be alive. The truth is, she disappeared half a year ago. I knew it. Then why'd you say a week? But I couldn't face the truth. It always felt... like just the week before. O'Connell. I can't believe this is why... Uh, what? I can't believe this. Why'd you allow... Fuck. Why did I allow you to ever give me hope? And then he said some other shit that I couldn't read in time because I'm, I'm fucking stupid. You can't be mad at me for your fucking mistake. You lied. If you told me she'd been missing for a year and a half, I wouldn't even bothered looking. Piece of shit. Hey, uh, what's your name? Lynette, right? No, Suzette, my bad. Have you seen O'Connell? Yeah, he's under the fucking rocks. I left him there. That scholar? I saw him, sort of wandering around in the daze. He was heading for the cliff. Aw, oh, man. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Great. The cliff? I suppose everyone knew that O'Connell's girlfriend was probably dead. Yeah. I wish you guys could have told me that she was gone for like a year and a half. It would have helped out a lot. It was just that no one could bear to shatter his hopes that she had gone missing only the week before and would return. He needed someone to help him face reality, to help tell him the truth. So you're telling me that he went to the cliff and you didn't even decide to go to yourself to stop him? Go to yourself to go by yourself to stop him? God, you people are fucking stupid. You better not jump, you son of a bitch. O'Connell, don't you dare. Don't you do it. Don't know. You mustn't make any rash decisions. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Not really. No, it is I who should be apologizing. 
I'm sorry I said all that. I didn't mean to worry you. I was not myself. I shall have never blamed you, after all the efforts you made for me. You're damn right. Death is part of life. There's no way around it. In Lulu's case, I just could not bring myself to accept it. The purpose of the pre uh, fuck. The purpose of the priestess of yore was not to commune with the dead, but to assist people in accepting death itself. You told me that I needed to. Uh, you told me what I needed to hear. In order to overcome my predicament, I first need to face the depths of my despair. Perhaps they were a mirror of the depths of my love for her. I still have little idea of what to do. But someday I will achieve closure and get back on my feet again. You're not gonna jump, are you? You're not gonna jump? You're not gonna... You're gonna walk away from the cliff? You have helped me. I'd like to repay you. He's gonna try and kill me. I think it's fair to say... Uh, to say that you are disturbed. Do you realize what this all means, don't you? These trips to the netherworld and such? Wait, don't say another word. Sometimes, I don't know what's happening. You once lived in this village. How the fuck would you know? Aren't you new here? That's why you have memories of the dead. There's something I would like to try. Are you gonna push me off a cliff? It should shed life upon your lost memories. Can we talk away from the cliff? I think that would be safer. Save your game? Sure. And just like that, to be continued. God damn it. <laughs> All right, off the Keats. Dr. Lester is dead, and Harvey has appeared in another world. And who could this girl, Cecilia, be? Oh man, I wonder, who could it be? If only I knew. Chapter 4, Labyrinth. So, Dr. Lester died before I could hear what I wanted. Unless there's someone else who knows anything, I'm out of luck. Oh well. There's always someone who knows everything, like everyone in this village. What's this? Hmm. The time has come for me to tell you everything. I'll be waiting for you, Harriet. Harriet. So she's finally decided to talk, huh? Let's go check on her. Time has come for me to tell you everything. I will now tell you everything about how I don't know anything. So says Mr. Stewart. <laughs> Finally ready to talk, huh? She slumped over. She looks slumped though. Is she dead already? I'm all ears. Even the dead refuses to speak to, uh, to speak of Samin and the incident that haunts them to this day. And now the truth. Huh? Dead. Damn it. Strangled. Carried out with ordinary string. It could be anyone. What ungodly timing. Perhaps she sensed danger and called me. Harriet and Dr. Lester are dead. Every person with direct knowledge is gone. I must inform the villagers. Let's see how they react. Oh my god, she's dead? I knew it. The way you react, it was suspect. You must be the killer. My, my god, how could this? Has the hag struck again? Just who is this hag? It's not any one of us gathered here. 
Never mind the old lady in the room. What, uh, shit, I didn't even get to read it. Impossible, no one can get beneath the hinge. I imagine that there is a way. The church is safe, I saw for myself. Then why not gather in the church? It's better than being alone. Sounds like a good idea. This calls for an interview with the dead. Anyone seen a memento of Harriet's? Oh, look at this shiny shit over here. What's this? This thing looks really old. It's a medallion. What is it? A burial artifact of the four bearers? <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Jesus. They say it was used to give one's own life to a high-ranking priestess. Talk about working yourself to death for your boss. But it looks like it's me. I think that's what we call a simp nowadays. <laughs> but I... <laughs> that's fucked up. But it looks like uh, it's made out of brass. They used brass back five... Uh, back. They used brass about 500 years ago, didn't they? Years ago? Did I really just say that? Didn't they? Are you sure it isn't a fake? Quite the scholar, aren't you? This isn't the only oddity I've discovered. We find things like this in ancient ruins from time to time. What? I'm not even... Ara Arachnorism? I don't, I don't even... I'm not even gonna try. Well, enough storytelling for now. So what are we going to do next? I'll take that. I have an idea as to how to use it. Time to go talk to the dead. This medallion is probably Harriet's memento. I'll head to the hinge. Alright. Show me your secrets. Show me the spotlight again. How can I stop this aging? I don't understand. I haven't been to the pub in a while. Is it gonna is it gonna zap me? That was cool. Oh, hey, Belge. How you doing? What is this place? This is the Endless Corridor. The netherworld was created by absorbing living people, thoughts on dead. The endless corridor here is made from notions of modern people. What is death? What happens after death? There are questions of the living that cannot be answered. The endless corridor here was born from such questions. And this place has become our home base. You really are talk uh, talking more than you usually do. Anyway, I'm off to see Harriet. Please be careful, the endless corridor is different from the other realms. 
Well, first things first, make sure you save this game, right? Alright, game is saved. Now that we've been through it with, uh, whatchamacallit? With Ellen, it should be a little bit easier with Keats. Beyond this point, you cannot just... Wait, hold up. Beyond this point, it's not just any old maze, but don't worry, someone knows the shortcut. Yeah, okay, he talks about the clock. Let's see, do you guys have anything different for me? Wait, what? For decades, Levain and Belgia used the player's base while they traveled to the netherworld, but it's too dangerous now, Ellen is way too strong. Alright, cool. Only you can solve things. We don't know where Levain is, Ellen and the others won't find her easily. Okay. And nothing over here. Alright, cool. So right off the bat, let's uh, switch up some of the stuff that I have going here. Put you in right. I'll have you for a shield. Um, what else was a good go-to for me? This guy, Bullseye. He helped out. I think that's good. pretty easy. So what do you guys got for me? Let's see how this acts for him. Alright. It's okay. Could be a little stronger. Alright. But for right now, this is doing wonders. Alright. So where the hell did the time guy go? I think he went this way. I wasn't really paying attention to him. Oh. Yeah, is that a different guy? It looks different. Uh, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Put it away. There we go. Oh, I have no more energy. So it is a different guy. Cool. What's this? I will take that. Okay. So use those guys to slash the fucking, uh... Huh. Alright. So I should find one of those guys. The, uh, whatchamacallits. But first, let's follow you. Since you know the way out. Alright. Which one's 301? I wasn't paying attention. I'm not even sure if the damn thing disappeared. I think it went this way. Dude, 
Wow, good job, guys. Are you real? Yes, you are. Alright. Trying to get the little guy. That's not going to affect the small guy. There we go. Oh, stop shooting. Got him. Pad foot. Hmm. Wonder what it does. Ow. You guys are just kicking my ass. But you're not doing too much damage, so I'm okay with it. There we go. Oh, what's this about? Earth element. Trimmer attacks. Fix area around player. Oh. Huh. Nice. Can I charge it? No. It's just a nice little thing. Oh. That was a trap. Nice one, guys. So it's like a back off ability, but it's not as it's not as wide range as Ellen's. Shit, I dodged straight into that. Ow. I was hoping that I could shoot it. Just get it over with. Alright. So I think it went this way, right? Ah. Oh. Which one is real? Not you. Not you. Not you. So it's you. Okay, cool. Now what the hell is chasing me? Come on, this way. There you go. Ouch. health over here. Pick that shit up. I'm actually doing pretty good here. I like it. Feel powerful. Alright. Let's try and get some health. One of these gotta have some health in it, right? Nope. 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 Come on. Nope. 
Only one of them had health in it. Oh, hold up, there's another one here. Nope. Damn it. Alright, well. Uh. Is it you? No, it's not you. It's you. Alright, cool. sometimes. And more just keeps spawning in. God damn it. Alright. You two. There's one over there. Shit. I gotta like level up or something, right? fucking endlessly. It's kind of overwhelming. health. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I needed. Got my second win. Alright. There's still more? God, are you... Do you guys literally, like, endlessly spawn? Oh, look at this. Page one. All right, cool. Told me exactly nothing. Uh oh, spotlight bad. Spotlight bad. All right, cool. That's not fun. So you're the fake one. And you're the real one. Got it. He just sat there and took all those hits. For no reason. You're fake. You're real. You're fake. And you're fake. That did more damage than I thought it would. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. 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 Real. Fake. trying to like shake it as fast as I can got slapped yeah basically fuck this sucks god
Oh my god, this really sucks. Come on. There we go. I'm only doing this because I have to get the fucking folklore. Yep. Just wiggling it. You know? You know, just treat it like it's- Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm about to start crying. I'm really about to start crying now. Fuck this. Oh god, I hate this so much. Why did they make it so the bar fills up so fucking slowly? God. It's actually fucking hurting my arm. Oh, what the fuck? That's bullshit. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Jesus, fuck. And I bet you probably have a super useless fucking ability, too. Let's see it. Got him? Yeah, dab him. That's right. He does a nice little stomp. Isn't that- isn't that cute? Oh, fucking bullshit. What do you do, by the way? I didn't even try this damn thing. Oh. I mean... Rapidly release vertical combo attacks. Alright, well, it's a little bit more fluid, I guess, but not nothing too crazy. Nothing in there. Where the fuck am I going anyways? I came from here. I'm not going there, so I'm heading this way. Had to use that Ultra Ball. Had to. God, an Ultra Ball would have been way fucking easier than doing that shit. Actually hurts my goddamn arms. It sucks. Another door? Huh. What a drag. Oh, oh! You again. Wait, where's my little sweetie? I want my sweetie! Calm down. Perhaps I can arrange that. Are you talking about Ellen? You know her? In fact, I do. I'll send her over if you do me a favor. Fine, then. Oh, you're a fucking simp and a half. Go on, spit it out. I need to have a word with Harriet. Can you find her? Because everyone just, you know, anyone with answers in this world just fucking ups and dies. Alright. Let's see. Oh, she's right here. I couldn't even see her. God damn it. She blends in so well. Talk to me. What did you see in the church 17 years ago on the night of the Sahim? Harvey dead with Dr. Lester standing next to him. Harvey never was a healthy lad. He supposedly had only a year to live. But still, he wasn't too ill as to die that suddenly. Was it Harvey's body in the photo you took? I couldn't tell from the photo, but it was a frightening photo for you since you've been there. 
That's not at all. Uh, that's not all. On the day, Cecilia was there too, covered in blood. Oh, shit. Harvey's friend, the one who can see fairies. You should have photographed that. I was too afraid. I couldn't bear to watch any longer. Cecilia, gravely wounded, and Harvey, lying dead. In the end, Harvey dies, and Cecilia is saved. I think I can guess what happens there. Cecilia could see fairies. She prayed to him, and so had their protection. Oh, come on now. There's no such thing. Not in the human world, at least. I wanted their protection, too. I tried to ask her about it, but Ryan stopped me. So that's when the doctor photo was ripped. In the end, it was Ryan who went to see Cecilia. And just after that, it was Ryan who was killed. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. You really are attached to those fairies. Following an ancient... Ancient. Yeah. Following an accident, I had to give up on acting. <laughs> Here's your dead body. Oh no. <laughs> I had plenty of money, so many people came forth to try to comfort me. I ended up into the... I ended up into the occult, listening... Listened to a fortune teller. And then came to this village. As I heard, fairies existed here. Yep, this sounds familiar. The netherworld actually exists in Doolin. But what all about fairies? Cecilia is one who holds the key to this all. She was supposed to have been dead for a long time. But she wasn't. Please, Keats, protect her. Who, me? I don't even know where Cecilia is. Yes, you do. I wish that I could somehow make reformations for my failures. But I need your help. Do you? Do you really need my help? You should need my help. I shall help you. Don't worry, dead spooky lady in the wheelchair. I'll help you. No strings attached. Alright. What do you have to say to me? Essentially, living can be a frightful thing. Tell me about it. The ancients used mist to help overcome that fear, and we moderns use materialism. It is fear that drives our civilization. I mean, tell that to the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? We've done our, we've done our best to stop the fairy plans, but the fairy lord is too powerful. Despite appearances, Levain has been in another world longer than the fairy lord. I believe it. Alright, what about you? The room this way contains a contraption. A folk is the key. Find the folk with the light bulb on its head and absorb it first. If you succeed, the next door will appear. Okay, sounds like a plan. Hope I don't die. I need a fucking save point. But the light bulb was. Oh, you! I don't even know how the fuck I got it last time. I think I hit it while it was shaking shit. I think I just gotta shoot it, right? There you go. Stop shooting. I did it. Good job, me. It's surprisingly a long game. Uh, you tell me about it, god damn it. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this long. It is an RPG, apparently, so. But I still didn't expect it to be this long. There we go. You're dealt with. Oh god. Oh no. You stay away from me! Oh, I can absorb you? Shit! Well, I can't absorb him because I'm supposed to absorb the light bulb guy first. God damn it. This sucks. I'm missing my attacks. That's, that's amazing. I need you to fucking back off for a moment so I can shoot this damn thing. It's too short for me to hit it and that doesn't even affect it. Oh, move! Move, Keats! Move, Keats! There we go. 
Stop shooting, buddy. Alright, good job. I'm not dead. You, I don't have to fight you. I can just ignore you if I if I remember correctly. I only need to fight you if I want to unlock like a cloak or some bullshit. I think I gotta head this way. Son of a bitch. Well at least I don't have to do the bullshit all over again. Right, save point. It's so delicious. All right. Now that I don't have the fear of death, oh, what are you guys talking about? Levain is lucky to have you on her side. If it weren't for you, there would have been nothing to stop the Fairy Lord's plans. Why, thank you. Continuing beyond this point is to learn Levain's true form. She is also connected to the secrets of the village hinge. Bilge, Bilge, or whatever the fuck his name is, brought you into this knowing that that was the case. Alright, what do I gotta do for you now? The room this way contains contraption. The key is the light bulb folk. This time you must absorb that one last. Alright. Alright. You're up here. You dare run away from me. Here we go. And you're last. You're so short. Just dodging bullets because you're short. That's bullshit. There's got to be a better way to hit you. Maybe this. Maybe this will get you. Did that affect it? I guess it's blocking it, huh? Shit. What about this? Oh wow, I didn't know that would be a lunging attack. Well, not trying that one. What about this? Once it's done being a pain in my ass. There we go, that's way easier. Thank you. Fuck. Come on. There we go. The fucking little thing is gonna kill me. There we go. easy. 
That was way easier than Ellen's. Oh, shit. I dodged that fucking hit at the last second. I smooth criminal that shit. I shouldn't even try to absorb this thing. Cause that other motherfucker is after me. I don't even know what its weakness is. Shit. I think I'm just gonna kill it. I'm not even gonna try and absorb it, I'm just gonna kill it. I don't have the time to absorb that damn thing. Cause I gotta deal with this motherfucker. Come on, come over here, rock guy. Gotta get away from the little, little light bulb bitch. I got it. He's a bitch. He's dead. You're next. Still easier than Ellen's. Alright, hey buddy, how you doing? I'm not gonna waste my time with you. Which way am I going? I guess I'm heading this way. Hey, look at that. I think I did it. Good thing I won't ever have to do that again. Hey, Levain. What's up? So, how do you like my home? It's fucking nasty and dirty. Um, yeah, quite a place you have here. But I'm not mad about all these fairies walking around like they own the place. Then again, I suppose I'm doing the same thing, so who am I to talk? Do they ever try to hurt you? Not that I'm really worried or anything. It's not like I'm it's not like I'm worried about you or anything, Baka. <laughs> if they do, they'll soon learn what a big mistake they've made. By the by, I have a request. Such formality. This path is blocked by a mass of spiritual energy. It has materialized as one of those bug things. And what are you asking me? Well, you should know whose memories it is. You're in trouble too, if you can proceed, I imagine. Personally, if you can't proceed, my bad, can't proceed. Personally, I don't care about the folklore. But Keats, it's your destiny to travel to the Netherworld Core. Not that I'm interested, but why is it, why this all of a sudden? Your curiosity never fails to win you over, regardless of what you say at first. But it's all just a way to keep yourself distracted from learning more about yourself. As if you wouldn't know anything about that. No point in me going on. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Go to the core, see for yourself. Hmm. Okay. Plot twist, I'm Ellen's father. Keats, you are the father. What? What the? I can't go any further. Uh, just like Levain said. It was a letter. It was addressed to Dr. Lester. Why am I so frightened of this thing? Wait, it isn't me. 
someone else's fear, it's... it's moving through me. Should I talk to Mr. Lester about this? Not Mr. Mrs., my bad. What do you have to say to me? The bug shutters went... okay, okay. Nothing different than before. Alright, cool. So you guys are pretty much useless. I've never seen anything as powerful as that. Surely, you can guess whose fear that was. Yeah, yeah. I'll head back to Doolin. Onward, through the psychic door. I gotta crack my neck. And my back too, god damn it. Ugh. That was a good stretch. It felt wonderful. Where have you been? Everyone's been gathered at the church. By the way, have you seen Ellen? She disappears from time to time, don't worry about it. Hey guys, there's a murderer going loose. You seen Ellen? Where she goes? She seems to like not be around when these murders happen. Don't worry about it. She disappears from time to time. It's okay. It's not suspicious or anything. Do you know anything about the letter addressed to Dr. Lester? One with no sender list listed. It was dated January 31st, 1990. How do you know about that? That letter is why I'm stuck now. I still have the letter. This one, isn't it? Hmm. It's a letter from Ingrid, Cecilia's mother, telling us that she died. I've never shown this letter to anyone, but I suppose that enough time has el elapsed now. Dear Dr. Lester, I'm writing to inform you that Cecilia passed on the other day. I thank you for your support. Her daughter dies and that's all she has to say? Look at the handwriting, how her hands were shaking. She was probably in shock and couldn't write a full letter. But Cecilia isn't dead. Do you suppose this letter could be a fake? Do you mean to tell me that you knew? So, you mean... Speak of the devil. Alright, I assume nothing changes here, right? I mean, it's the same cutscene that we had before. Yeah, nothing different. Ellen, you are Cecilia. What? Me? Your mother claimed that you were dead. Keats, you know all this time? Yeah, okay, nothing else different here. Same cutscene. Alright. And I believe Keats is off to go beat the shit out of the folklore now. Surely Ellen will acknowledge her own past. So, if she can overcome this fear, then the bug will just disappear. Alright. Onward to go beat the shit out of that folklore. Oh, here it is. Alright. Come on. Open that portal. I'm gonna save it. Before I head into the boss room. Hey, Belge. What are you up to? Uh, 
the whatchamacallit has been extinguished. It was formed from Ellen's fear, but why there? The answer to that lies in the deepest reaches of the Endless Corridor. In the deepest reaches of the Endless Corridor, but how is that possible if it's endless? Within the hinge, the hag could be in there, somewhere. Well, that's a coincidence, or is it? Alright. Now I'm not sure what the hell I have to use for Keats to affect this boss. I'm supposed to shoot it in the eye with water. It's fucking nasty. Alright. So, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna need this. Right? Um... Do I have any, like, water-type bullshit? For Keats? I don't think I do. Um... I have this. Mid-range, ice combo. Don't I have one that shoots ice? Yeah, I think it's this one. I think that should be enough, right? Let's see. Yep, that works. Alright, two. Then, you're gonna come out? Yeah? No? Um, is there another, is there another thing? Um, oh, hold up, maybe, maybe, stomp its teeth? Damn right. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. None of these work. That doesn't work. What the hell? Okay. Um. What about you? Slashing element? There we go. Well, that was a waste of my little devil trigger that I had there. Okay. This guy over here. gotta be something else with the slashing element that's like way better suited for this, right? No. No. Fairy Realm? I have you, right? That seems better. Oh shit. That was fast. The fuck hit me. The eyes blinking at me, and I get hit for it. Right. 
Uh oh, move, move, Keats. Damn it. My man hit me with the fucking temp stomp. He said, hey man, check out my Tims. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Out the way, Keats. I'm gonna fucking up my defense, actually. Fuck. There we go. Uh-oh. Where's the last one? There's one left. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, move, Keats. Oh, out the way, out the way, out the way. Here we go. Uh-oh. Boss is defeated for the second time. God damn it. That wasn't too bad. Keats is 100% the fucking easy mode of this game. And I love it. What? Why here? Why is... Uh, what is this place? It looks just like the hinge in the village. This is our home, created by Levain's thoughts. Do you know how to open this? You need to make an offering of a medallion. I already did in the ruins up above. Now that you have passed through the netherworld, the medallion has metamorphosized. In ancient times, those with the messenger's permission were able to go inside the, uh, the dolmen this way. Okay. Wait, so, oh. So when Ellen came here with Lucy's medallion, Lucy used to be a messenger and she died, okay. That makes sense. God, gotta love that PS1 music. It's amazing. All mystical and shit. This land is a place we called home. No messenger has ever made it this far. I'm not a messenger. I'm a guardian, apparently. Ellen is really amazing. What power she has. She has the potential to become as powerful as the High Priestess of the Ancients. She may be the one to defeat Baral, the evil eye who protects the... Shit, I had like a hiccup. Uh, who protects the entrance to the core. And reach the Twin Trees. You got something to say to me? I can't believe the humans like that could take over the real world. We need to change things here. If the secrets of death is not maintained, then humans will engage in slaughter. Hey, it's like I said. 
if people knew about a, an, a world, a life after death, then no one would really care about the real world no more and just do reckless shit and fuck the world over. Levine is our treasure. We can't let her fall into their hands. We must protect her. We will hide her in the sanctuary. Are these her memories? Ah, Levine, please go safely to the Twin Trees. You must change the real world. These are her memories. Okay. So as her clan was facing extinction, and they were hunting them down, they hid her away. Alright. Man, I made some jokes about this game having some Bayonetta bullshit in it, but it was some fucking Bayonetta bullshit. All this Umber and Witch shit. And now you must return to the village. What is this place? A world that you created, you say? This is my home. We were the original natives of the Earth, but we were destroyed by the humans who came after us. I am one of the last, one of the last messengers. Long ago, ancestors of humans mingled with our clan and shared knowledge of the underworld, underworld, netherworld. Those humans who knew of the netherworld neglected their lives in their own world. Yep, that's what I expected. And continue with their wars and massacre, almost as if they welcomed death. Yep. See, if no one, if the material world, if there's a life after material world, then who gives a fuck about the material world, right? And so, after a time, our tribes were wiped out by the humans. I was protected by friends and escaped in another world. 5,000 years ago, I was in another world core. I thrust my spear into one of the twin trees. That sounds freaky. Also, that humans would not repeat the same mistake. What are the twin trees? It is they, uh, it is they that create the bond between the souls in the netherworld and the real world. It is because they exist that the netherworld is affected by the real world. But the thrust of my spear reduced the effects of your world to a minimum. That sounds... Freaky. <laughs> that sounds like someone's first time describing anal. <laughs> As a result of the, my th the thrust of my spear fucked your world up forever. As a result of that, humans lost their ability to live without fearing death. They created their current civilization as a way to conquer their own weakness. Even under the yoke of fear of death, humans developed their reason and comp compassion. They are not there yet, but they are close. I know that a world filled with benevolence is at hand. You're expecting humans to bring that about? Humans took my tribe from me, but I do not blame them. Alright. What's this freaky ass door about? Now, with your pardon, I shall excuse myself. Okay, well be excused, bitch. Out the way. Humans view their lives within the paradigm of mortality. For generations, they have created legacies affirming their existence. The imp oh, fuck imperality and fuck words big ones they are scary. Uh, <laughs> of life makes it precious. Our people, in contrast, were assured what. Our people, in contrast, were assured of peace and death and created nothing. Only mortal men are driven to create things eternal. That was a mouthful, Keats. May I ask, how is the world now? Not bad. We are immature, for certain, but we make our shares of discoveries. And when we do, we feel alive. Our vital- oh fuck. Levain. What you did long ago was not wrong. I didn't even get to read the last one. It went by too fast. Excuse me. Please allow me to greet our guest. Go to the village. Don't go over the top. And then she fucking slaughtered a bunch of fairies left and right like it was goddamn 
Thor Ragnarok just fucking him up. Back here again, eh? I wonder if the hinges in the village can be open like the one in the Endless Corridor. I'll just have to go and see the hag might be there. Alright. Well, let's go do that. I wish there was a save point nearby. Well, there is a save point. I can head to, uh, whatchamacallit's place. Keats' little, little cave that he lives in. Hmm, just ordinary ruins when I come in day. Oh, I have to go at night time. Why didn't they give me a fucking option to switch it to night? Uh, which way is Keats' plate? This way? No, Keats is behind the pub. I shall rest. I shall get my beauty sleep. Alright. Onward to the hinge where I melt where I shall summon the demons. Does no one notice this in the middle of the fucking, uh, middle of the fucking town? It's kind of weird, you know. I'm heading the right way, right? I think so. All right, silver medallion. Okay. Now, what is Keith's reason for coming down here? I expected to find the hag hiding here. Oh, what the hell is this? Hmm? The knife that was used against Dr. Lester. The hag has been here recently. Is that Ellen's mom? What's this? Ellen? Could be the next target. Or is she part of the mystery? To be continued. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Just like an episode of fucking Twin Peaks. Will you ever find out any answers to any questions? I don't know. Try fucking yourself and checking back five years neck later. Fuck. <laughs> Just. <laughs> God damn it! All right. What time is it? What time am I approaching on here? Yeah, okay. I think that's going to be it for the stream tonight. This is a good stopping point, right? We did both their chapters. Well, we finished up Keese's, uh chapter 3. Then we did both their chapter 4s. So, the plot thickens, I guess. I don't know. It's fucking it's confusing. There's a bunch of bullshit in this game. I love it. It's a great game. Good games. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm gonna end the fucking stream for now. It is hot in here without my air conditioner on. Holy shit, I am dying. I'm gonna fucking hop in the shower and then like, I don't know, make like eggs and pancakes or something and fucking just fall asleep. So, with that said, I wanna thank everyone stopping by on the Twitch, checking it out. It's, uh, thank you, right? For those who are watching on YouTube, Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. And also, a thing that I want to say, which I'm pretty sure it's not 
it's not like relevant by the time this goes on YouTube. But for live stream purposes, hey, guess what? Because I didn't live stream at all uh, last night, I sat down today and I recorded a whole playthrough of a game that I wanted to try out. And I'm going to be putting that playthrough out once it hits October. So basically in like one or two days. So until then, look forward to that. That's going to be fun by the time this video goes up on uh, whatchamacallit on YouTube. It'll probably be up there already. And yeah, so with that said, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. And if you are subscribed, hit the bell. And if you like the content, like the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, I want to thank everybody for stopping by, watching, having a good old time. This game is fun. I like it. Fucking stay happy. Stay healthy. And take care. I will see you all in the next video.